Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve a problem, merge in between linked lists. So let's just focus on the example. So straight to it, we're given two linked lists as you can see here. And we're also given two integers here, A and B. So in this case, if A is equal uh, to three and B is equal to four, what that means is we want to go to the third node. And this is actually, they don't mention it anywhere in the problem unless I missed it. This is assuming this is zero based. So zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So you can see from three to four, we wanna remove those nodes from three to four. Okay, so that's not hard. And in between, like where that was, we want to now insert the new linked list. So as you can see, this last node, the node before the node that we removed is gonna then point at the beginning of list two. And as you can see, the last node in list two is gonna point at the node after the section that we removed. And not only that, we are actually guaranteed, they kind of mention it down in the footnotes, but we're pretty much guaranteed that A to B, like this section that we remove, is not gonna include the head of the linked list. So that makes it really, really convenient for us, to be honest. And so the way I'm gonna go ahead and implement the solution to this problem is pretty much what I just talked about right now. We're gonna have a pointer that is going to pretty much iterate up until this node, and then we're just gonna have it point at list two, then we're gonna continue to iterate until we have a pointer to this node. And lastly, we're gonna traverse the entire second list, going through that entire list, so that then we can make the last uh, node point at this node. So pretty much we're gonna go through both of the lists. You can assume that the time complexity is N plus M, where these are the sizes of the lists that they mention and no additional space complexity, so it's gonna be constant space. The reason, by the way, that this was such an easy explanation for me to give is that they actually gave us a very, very good picture in this problem. So much so that I would consider this actually more of an easy problem. And the big takeaway, I think, from this problem is that pictures are so damn helpful for understanding these problems, right? That's kind of why I do this whiteboarding stuff. They gave us the picture this time, but usually you have to create it yourself. So for harder problems, this kind of problem solving skill of being able to draw out a picture is extremely helpful. And I didn't really have a lot of notes uh, this time for the problem to show you guys. So let's just jump into the code. So first I'm just gonna have a pointer. It's gonna be at the beginning of list one. We want this to point at the node before the node that we want to remove. So I'm gonna have a pointer and I'm actually gonna set it to one because I want to say this, while I is less than A, we want to do this. We want to shift the pointer and we want to increment I. And the reason I set it to one is just because that's how the math works out. Like if I show you a linked list that let's say looks like this, if A, is uh, three, for example, if A is three, that means we want to remove starting from this node, right? Because we're zero indexed. And now that I think of it, actually maybe a better way is to actually change this to a zero and then change this to a minus one. So then pretty much what we're saying is I is going to represent the index, which I think that's probably the more intuitive thing to do. And then we're saying, okay, keep incrementing until I has reached the node that is right before A. So if A is here, we are going to stop once we reach this node, which is exactly what we wanna do. So I think this is probably the better way to do it. So now by the time this loop is done, current should be pointing here. And so even though now we wanna set the next node of this to list two, we can't do that just yet because we do wanna iterate over the rest of this. So we will write that code. We'll say here that head is equal to a snapshot of what current is right now. So head will basically point to this node. And then eventually we're gonna say head dot next is equal to list two, but we're gonna save that for later. So in between, we're gonna add some more code here because we wanna traverse the rest of this, or at least up until uh, B. So we now want to get a pointer to this node or rather the node after that because we want to remove this section here. So let me just make that very clear. This is the section we're trying to remove. And so we want a pointer here because we want the last node in list two to point here. So let's say uh, while I is less than 
or equal to B, actually, because if we say less than B, we will stop here, but we want to stop after that. So we will continue one more time after that and then stop here. So here, let's just say current is equal to current dot next and I plus one. And so now not only can we point this at the beginning of list two, but now we can also iterate over list two, just like this. This is the easy part. So while list two is non-null, we can increment this or, or rather shift it to the next node like this, but this is actually not good. What this is going to do is it's going to keep shifting this pointer until we reach null. List two will point at null. That's not what we want. We want the last node from list two. So let's actually say while list two dot next is non-null. And so this will stop at the last node. And then with the last node, we can say list two dot next is equal to tail. And then we can return the head of list one, which we did not change. And uh, I don't know why actually I pointed this at tail. We didn't define tail. So I guess I will uh, change this to cur because remember after this loop, current is pointing at the node right after the one that we deleted. So now let's go ahead and run the code. And as you can see, it works. It's pretty efficient. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.